Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 770. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 770, 775, click on the link directly below the video and you can download this workbook. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to count cells with a certain color. Ah, but we don't want to do it with VBA. Now, this is easy to do with VBA and get a formula that'll work all the time. You just got to search Google and there's like all sorts of custom functions. But if you don't want to do that, you can use the filter feature. So let's first turn on the filter feature. Anytime you use the data analysis features like filter, pivot table, you got to have a field name at the top, or you should have a field name at the top, and then your uh, records in rows. Click in one cell in the data set. You could go up to data and use the filter button, or you could use control shift L. Control Shift L. You can see when I do that, this little uh, drop down arrow pops up and it's a toggle on off. All right, so now I'm going to come down here and this is in 2007 and 10. There's filter by color, so I'm going to filter by color. Now, watch this. I'm going to come down here and we're going to use the subtotal function, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals. Now alt equals usually does the sum function but it senses that there's a filter up there and so it's putting in the uh, subtotal. Now you gotta know the numbers and if you don't uh, for, for the different functions 9 is sum you can always click right here for help. This is a hot uh, screen tip. And then you uh, can come down here and broop, there they are. So we want to count so we're going to use 2. We're going to change this to 2. Now let's go ahead and filter it again. I'm going to filter by color, but now I'm going to show yellow. And now there's four. All right, I'm going to control shift L to turn that off. You can see now the subtotal adds up all of them. Another way to do this, control C, is you can come right here and I'm going to paste this and you can convert it to a table. Control T, and uh, that's in 2007 to 2010 and then you can add a total row. So this is an official table now and of course there's a bunch of advantages to tables, dynamic ranges, automatic sorting and filtering, but you can come up here to the table tools and click total. And then lo and behold, if you have a table and a total row, you just click the drop down and you say count. Now when we go ahead and uh, filter like this, it'll count. Still another one, notice this is not does not have a filter, but anytime you have data next to a uh, data set that's being filtered, it'll hide all the rows. So usually you don't keep data next to here. Uh, I'm going to come up here and unclear the filter. Another way to do it is if you had, for example, uh, count, you could use just the subtotal function and have it somewhere else, right? So you could say subtotal. And in 2010, there's this lovely drop down. I'm going to select 2, comma, select whatever range it is you want. Right? And so this is totally separate from the total row or the subtotal down here. I have a, a table over here, so that's why it's showing up in table uh, formula nomenclature. That's the name of the table and the field, that right there in square brackets. I'm going to close parentheses. All right, now when I filter, on yellow, sure enough, all, all of them. This one's working just by default, even though it doesn't have a, a filter here. But here we can see the total row and our subtotal function work just fine. So if you don't mind using filter, you can count. Or as you uh, saw, there's other functions also based on color. All right, see you next trick.